Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. You guys haven't seen this setup in a minute. This used to be kind of like my original setup. So the reason we're here is because you see this microphone in front of me right now, and then you might see this little thing back here. Pretty much all this stuff right here pretty much means that I've been live streaming or testing live streaming out for the past couple, two, three weeks. And I wanted to see how the setup would honestly work just for this like type of YouTube stuff. Cause right now it's really simple for me to write my script here turn around and just shoot the video with the mic here. I still haven't tested out like the quality of this mic because when you're streaming, you know, you don't want to hear yourself and all the audio. So sometimes I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to trust my friend to see how they think it sounds like. So all the gear that we're using is this Rode Pod mic right here, which is $100. Even if you're not going to live stream or you just want like a microphone for your setup like this, this mic literally sounds amazing from all the tests that we've kind of been doing and from all the reviews that we've been watching. I got a whole new interface back here. I used to have the Scarlet Red, but now I got this bad boy right here, which I'm loving so far for anybody that's in like PCs or just wants to do anything to control their audio coming in through the headphones. I can change the levels up and down. To, if I wanna hear my teammates, I can turn it up all the way and that's all I hear, gameplay, even it out. Just so you're not like questioning what you're doing on the PC, you could do it for free. There's plugins in there, just look up Banana Voice Meter. And that thing is pretty much this, but on here, but I just didn't like it, but I wanted something simple that I can just show my friends once they get their gear and boom, we're ready to go live streaming on their own. So originally I did want to do some behind the scenes of me editing photos, just live streaming, play some music, talk to you guys. And you guys can see the way I edit my photos. If you guys have any questions, so on and so forth, you would have been able to ask them. So I was curious of like, okay, what do I need for one to start that up and all that stuff. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to try to do that. And it kind of just faded away during this whole situation that's been going on. I was like, all right, Quan got any photos to shoot. I had like one photo shoot before. So yeah, pretty much this is the whole live streaming setup that I've got going on. Literally, I got this whole gear maybe like oh, two, three days ago and just been testing it out on stream. If you guys want to watch the stream, we try to stream like every other day, pretty much Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is what we've been trying to do. But that means I'm not going to stop making videos here. I have so many ideas right now because I don't know if you can tell. There is a filter on the lens right now, and it's probably one of my favorite purchases that I've bought and that I've tested out so far. I don't know if you can tell with the lights up here and down here of how the light wraps around. It's so clean. So yeah, I don't know where else to continue with this because that's pretty much my setup right here when we're going live streaming, a pod mic, a Go XLR, and then the computer handles everything else. And then we just game for a couple hours and have fun. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing us live stream, just go down to the channel. It's it's all right to game. You guys, yeah, that thing's been with us since we were in middle school. We've uploaded videos on that channel. And yeah, make sure to do all that fancy stuff with the like button and all that stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. And let me know how this sounds compared to my other videos. See ya.